All right, we're going to get to Jamboree number five. We're going to do some more word problems. Here we go. The second of four numbers is double the first. The third number is double the second. And the fourth is three times more than the third. Find all four numbers if their sum is 36. What? So there's a first, a second, a third, and a fourth. Oh, my goodness. Well, what should I call that? I'll call that a fourth. Small, small f. Um, I'll call that, yeah, let's call that U. So I don't, let's call it U because I'm going to mix up the F's. Now let's see. The second of four numbers, the second is double the first, twice the first. The third is double the second. Hmm, the third is double the second. Okay. The fourth is three more than the third. The fourth is three more than, not triple, three more than the third. And I guess we'll just call the first the first. Find all four numbers. Well, let's see. The first is the first. The second is two firsts. The third is two seconds. Well, if the third is two seconds and the second is two firsts, can't the third be two of these seconds? Yeah, I'm going to substitute because s is equal to 2f. This s I'm going to put in 2f. Or 4f's. And if the fourth is the three more than the third, we know the third is 4f, so can't we write 4f plus 3? So now I have the fourth, third, second, and first all written with f's in terms of the first. So all, all describe the same variable. Remember, it's V-E-S-C-A. Okay, we did variables. Now we have to do equations. Variables is the hard part. We have to get them all written with one variable. We just did. Now the equation is find all four numbers if their sum is 36 becomes pretty basic. I just add these guys all up. F plus 2F plus 4F plus 4F plus 3 is 36. So 2, 6, 10Fs. Whoops, whoops. 2, 6, 10. Whoops, 11Fs. Plus 3 is 36. Track 3 from both sides, they get 11F. It's 33, so F must be 3. If F is 3, the second must be 2Fs. 6, okay, so we just solved. Now, we're checking. Well, we, well, we didn't solve yet. Oops, we didn't check it. We're solving because we're solving for each one. The third is 2Ss, right? 2, 6 would be 12. And this one is 3 more than that one, so it's 15. Let's double check. The second is double the first, yes. The third is double the second, yeah, okay. And this is three more than that, yep. And they should all add up to 36. Five and two is seven. Three is 10 and six is 16. Carry the one, 36. Worked out. All right. Now we're going to quarters, nickels, and dimes. Oh my goodness. So when you have coins, you can set it up like this. You can write the coin, right? The value of that coin value per coin, right? Number of coins and the total value. All right, and we'll see how this works out. Ready? So let's see, Tom has one less than twice as many dimes as half dollars and four more than triple as many nickels as half dollars. How many of each coin does he have if he has 350 in all? Well, hold on a second. We know that he has Dimes, he has nickels, and he has half dollars. We know that dimes are worth 10 cents, nickels are worth 5, and half dollars are worth 50 cents, okay? This will be in cents. So, Tom has one less than twice as many dimes as half dollars. So, if he has X half dollars, he has one less than twice as many of them. And four more than triple as many nickels as half dollars. So now, for nickels, he has four more than triple the half dollars. So he has four more than triple the amount of half dollars. Now, the total value of each coin is always the value per coin times coin. 
value per coin times coin, coins cancel out, times number of coins, sorry, you end up with this value per coin. So suppose I had three dimes, I'd do 10 times three to get 30 cents. If I had six dimes, I'd do 10 times six to get 60 cents, with the total value in dimes. But now I have two x minus one, so I have to multiply it by 10. So 10 times, I want 10 of these things, so I get 20x minus 10. Five times this, I get 15x plus 20, and 50 times that, I get 50x. It says, how much does he, of each coin does he have if he has 350 in all? So the total value of each coin should add up to $3.50 when I add them all up, okay? So let's see. 20x minus 10 plus 15x plus 20 plus 50x should equal 350, you know, 350 cents. So 20 and 15, 20, 35, and 50, I get 85. Get minus 10 and plus 20. I get plus 10 equals 350. Well, I subtract 10 from both sides. I get 84 equals 340. Sorry, not 84. 85 equals 340. Now, how many 85s go into 340? Let's see. I have a feeling that 85 is going to go into 340 four times. But, you know, I'm just going to make one six. 4 times 5 is 20, carry the 2. 4 times 8 is 32, and 2 is 3, 4. Nice. Goes into 4 times, so my x equals... Oops, sorry. My x equals 4. But it doesn't say what does x equal, right? V-E-S-C-A. I did my variables. Uh, I made my equation. I'm solving now. And in solving, I have to make sure I want to find how much of each coin. So four is how many half dollars? I have four half dollars. Here is three times four plus four, so it's twelve plus four. I have sixteen nickels. And four here, two times four is eight minus one. I have seven dimes. So I have seventy cents from the dimes. Let's see. Sixteen nickels would be eighty cents. And four half dollars would be two bucks. Let's see. Yep, that equals three fifty. Nice. So it worked out. All right. See if we have problems, enough time to do one more. Yep. Janet has three more than twice as many dimes as quarters and twice as many pennies as dimes. How many of each coin does she have? So we want coin, value, number, total value. Let's see. So she has um, dimes, quarters, and pennies. So I'll write penny, dime, and quarter. You know, pennies worth one, a dime's worth ten, a quarter's worth twenty-five. So she has three more than twice as many dimes as quarters. So you can take that out for a minute. Three more than twice quarters. So we'll call the quarters X, right? We're talking about dimes. Three more than, sorry, three more than twice quarters. Okay? And twice as many pennies as dimes. So whatever the amount of dimes she has, she has twice as many. So she has twice as so this is how many dimes she has. She has twice as many as those, so she has four X plus six. Total value will be this times this, so this would be four X plus six. Ten times this would be twenty X plus thirty. Twenty five times this is twenty five X. How many of each coin does she have? She has a total of one dollar eighty three or one hundred and eighty three cents. Well here's my equation. Let's add them all up. 4x plus 6 plus 20x plus 30 plus 25x is 183. 4x and 20x makes 24x and 25 uh, would be 49x plus 36 equals 183. Subtracting 36 from both sides. 13 minus 6 is 7. 8, 7, 4, 1, 49. Is 147. Well, 50 cents goes into a dollar 50 three times, right? 50, 50. So this is probably be about three. Let's double check. Um, divide both sides by 49. Sorry. Let's see if 49 goes into. I know it's going to because it's three less than 150. That's one less than three times. Remember, remember, remember. Let's double check. 147. Let's see. Three times nine is 27. Carry the two. 12 and 147. Zero. Yes. So I found my x equals three. Very nice. Do I have time to plug it in? No, I don't. You can do it. Have a nice day.